Hey, good morning, everybody. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about function rules from equations or getting equations down to a given variable. Sometimes they'll say get it in terms of x or get it in terms of y or a. A lot of times they'll say, you know, a typical equation um, or a typical function is always going to want you to get it in terms of x, where f of x is your output, you know, where x is your input and, and your output is your function, you know, f of x. Okay, so for the first example here, example one, it states for a given input value h, the function f outputs a value k to satisfy the following equation. Holy jeesh, that is a lot of mumbo jumbo algebraically, right? We've got for a given input value, it's basically saying that's what we're going to put in. That's going to be our input, obviously. I mean, it says so in the problem. The function f, we're, just, we're always going to call the functions f, uh, outputs a value of k. So what we're going to get is, you know, k is going to be like our y. Our y is like our f of x. In this case, it's going to be k to satisfy the following equation. So what we have is we have 6k minus 9h equals negative 36. Okay, so let's kind of get down to what this is basically asking us to do. All right, so what do we want to do? It says write a formula for f of h in terms of h. What that is basically saying is that I know it doesn't say this, but we want to get, and I know you guys are just like, let's get down to business here. Well, let's just get k by itself. All right, we're going to solve for k in a lot of ways here. Okay, so since we're solving for k, since we want to get k by itself, we want to get everything that is not a k on the other side of the equation. So I'm going to add 9h to both sides. I'm going to rewrite it. 6k equals, I'm going to write it like this though, 9h minus 36. And now we're left to one more step here, which is dividing both sides by 6. So we're going to divide everything by 6. Those cancel out there. And there we go. We got k by itself. Now 6 over 9 reduces to 3 halves. So you got 3 halves h. And then 36 over 6 reduced to 6. So there it is. All right, so let's write it in the proper functional notation, you know. So the proper form for this is going to be f of h. We're not going to write k, we're going to write f of h, because that's, that's what f of h equals. f of h is essentially k. So f of h equals 3 halves h minus 6, and that's it. All right, and if you're confused, like, all right, I know, I, these are very confusing the way these are worded. I agree with you absolutely 100%, but if you look at this, you can see now h is an input value. You know, that's, that's where the input values should be. The input value should be part of the equation. You know, it shouldn't be the output part of the equation. It should be the part that you put in. You know, so the h, and that's what it said at the very beginning of this problem. It said for a given input value of h. All right, so if you're wondering, like, did I do this right? I know it doesn't seem right. Like, why do I have an h here and an h here? It should be like x and y. It should be... Uh, K and H, it should be M and P or what are, you know, different letters. It, but that's not how functions work. Functions are kind of a very confusing set of uh, rules that we have to kind of use for the notation, I guess. All right, moving on to example two, let's go ahead and read this. It says, for a given input value B, the function F outputs a value A to satisfy the following equation. So we've got the equation 8b minus 9a equals 32. So this is essentially the same thing. I'm just going to go through some examples here with you. But again, we've got an input of b. So we want that. We want to make sure that b is part of the equation. It's not the output. It's the input part of it. What are we going to do? We're going to get a by itself. We're going to isolate that variable. Okay, so it says write a formula for f of b 
in terms of B. Like I said, what that means is we want to get A by itself. We want A to be the output. All right, we want A to be all alone. We want it to be positive on its own side of the equation. So what do we do first? Well, we better move that B over. Now those, those Bs right there cancel each other out. And now you're left with negative 9A equals negative 8B plus 32. I know it's not in that order, but I always like to, for some reason, for some reason I always like to get the, the variable kind of in that format there. When you get an algebra 2 and you get things into complex equation form, you're going to see why that makes sense, and that's kind of a good way to kind of have it. It's not a huge deal, though, if you didn't put it that way. It's not going to matter at all. Now, the next step is going to be dividing by negative 9. We're going to divide both sides by that negative 9. And then what do we get? All right, we get A. A is by itself, which is the objective. We have a negative divided by negative. That makes it positive. So you got 8 ninths B. And then you have 32 divided by negative 9. Now, those, uh, if those don't divide, uh, but do they have any common factors? And uh, no, they don't. So that's going to be kind of a weird-looking constant, but that's all right. 32 ninths, I wouldn't change that to 3 and, and 5 ninths. Just leave it as an improper fraction. That's much easier to, to navigate with those kind of problems. But again, I don't have it in the right format. Let's get it in that right format. So you got f of b equals 8 ninths b minus 32 ninths. All right, so we have it in that proper functional form right there, and all is good. All is well in this world. All right, for this last example right here, it says for a given input value e. So e, it says so. e is our input. That's going to be part of the equation, just like we made b part of the equation on the last one. Uh, the function f outputs a value h to satisfy the following equation. These are so just crazy confusing the way these are, are worded, but if you just kind of break it up, okay, look what it says. Like I said, this is calling for the input value. This is telling you that's the output value. And then you can kind of let your eyes glaze over for the rest of that stuff because I know it's, it's just in a weird, contextually, it's just kind of in a weird format there. And uh, I don't blame you for getting confused and wanting to pull your hair out with the way some algebra problems are worded. It's not my fault. That's the way they are. I guess sometimes they're that way. All right, so what we have to do here is we have to write a formula for f of e in terms of e. All right, what does that mean? What does that mean? We want to get, what do we want to get by itself? We want to get E by itself, or do we want to get H by itself? Yeah, we want to get H. We want to solve for H. So we want to isolate that H. So that is important. Now for this example right here, this is the uh, only example that I have in our notes where we have parentheses, all right? And so what, do you, what have you been taught about parentheses? What have I ever talked about? Maybe you've heard me say this before, but one thing that is, maybe you've heard me say is clear them. Clear parentheses, and how do you do that? You distribute. That's how you do it, you distribute. So we're gonna distribute that seven. And we didn't have to do this step first, but that step of Clearing those parentheses will have to be done somewhere along the line. We might as well just do it now. So I'm going to go ahead and rewrite it. We've got e minus 9 equals 7h. Because 7 times h is 7h. And 7 times 4 is 74, right? That's 28. And like I said, we want to get h by itself. So you know what? Let's just move. You know, we don't always have to do things the same way, but let's move that constant 28 over to the left side. That keeps that H term positive. So I'm just going to move stuff over. So I've got E minus 9 minus 28, because it was plus 28 on the right side, equals, all equals 7H right there. Negative 9 and negative 28 makes, what does that make? That makes negative 37 equals 7H. 
uh, we're not quite there yet. We want to get that thing into simplest functional form. So how do we do that? We, well, we want to get h by itself. So how do we get h by itself? We're going to divide everything by the coefficient that is attached to that h, which is 7. So we're going to divide everything by 7. So except for these 7s, th these are the only things that cancel out on that problem or have any common factors. So we have got kind of some tricky math here, but remember, you know, what's the coefficient of e? Well, there's a 1 there. So we can just think of that as 1 7th e. I think that's going to be the best way to kind of picture that, 1 7th e. And then uh, 37 doesn't divide by 7, nor do they have any common factors. So we'll just leave it as that. So 37 7, and there it is. Well, I shouldn't circle that as if it's the definitive answer, because that's not it. The actual answer, we've got to get it in terms of, uh, of e. So we really want to write it. We really want to write it, and I'm going to turn things around here a little bit, like this. f of e equals, I'm going to write 1 7 e minus 37 sevenths. And that's how that one's done. Okay, everybody. So why don't you guys go ahead and do your, uh, make sure you guys have all this down in your notes. And I really appreciate you guys being patient with me with these videos and keeping on top of all this. I think maybe we'll have a little quiz on this Friday. Tomorrow is Wednesday, so we're not going to have a lesson on Wednesday. That'll be a good day for you to kind of catch up or ask questions or get help, whatever you guys need to do. All right, so everyone have a great rest of your Tuesday and a great Wednesday as well, if I don't hear from you tomorrow. And take it easy and be safe, okay? Take it easy out there. And uh, I know everyone's getting antsy wanting to go outside, and I do too. But, um, you know, just kind of stay safe, stay home, and keep everyone else safe that is uh, unable to keep themselves from getting this virus, you know who I mean. So take it easy. Take care.